as you can see, yeah, I let this tank really get away from me. Um, it's just pretty much a holding tank for blue metallic guppies at this point and some just cull shrimp. But um, it's time we take it back for sure. The the brush algae and stuff is just so terrible on that back wall. And this crinum's grown really well, but you can't really see it due to due to all that garbage um, on the front front pane. So what I'm gonna do is drop the drop the water level, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to try to remove some of this algae manually. Um, this is an acrylic tank. It's a C-Clear 30. It's got the rounded edges and such. It's a cool looking tank. It's not, um, I'm just not a fan of acrylic at this point. It's, it scratches and I'm, I'm not the, the easiest on things, I guess. So, I mean, this thing's got some scratches. It was, it was originally my upstairs display tank, but honestly, I could never, ever get anything to grow in here. But that was uh, that was many years ago, and even now, it seems very touch and go as to getting plants to thrive in here. I mean, I'll throw some pictures up of how it used to be, and it used to be a lot better, but... Yeah, it's a culmination of things. Probably just need to try harder. <laughs> so we're gonna drop the water level, throw some new plants in here, kind of overload it. Really try to get these nutrients, access nutrients figured out. Gravel vac maybe pretty hard. And, and just see if we can fix this because it looks so bad, I'm embarrassed. No one really ever comes down here or anything, but if someone does want to see it, or if I want to shoot a video, it's just like, oh man, that eyesore. So, let's do something about it, boys and girls. It's like a Christmas tree down there. Okay, so that's what we're going after right now. On the back wall here. Uh, if you have an acrylic tank, <laughs> if you have an acrylic tank, I would definitely recommend not doing this. I'm sure if you're careful, it would be okay, but they make acrylic actual specific scrapers opposed to using a uh, actual razor blade. Oh man, it's thick though. It's so thick I might need a fork. Dang. See, it digs in so deeply. And it doesn't necessarily get it all. But, it, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm not going to film probably the whole process, the tediousness of it. But this is literally um, just me letting this tank do its thing. This is, um, generally speaking, people probably don't let their tanks get in this manner. But here I am. The way that's scratching on there is just, I don't know. Here we go. It's a lot of brush algae, but I'm sure there's moss also growing in there. We're in the tank right now. Just having a little look-see. It's interesting. Some duckweed. And then if you look through the front, Hopefully I don't drop the camera, wish me luck. This is the outside glass. Hey guys, it's me! That's, uh, you can't see anything. You don't see enough. Yeah, 
Yeah. Let's fix this. Yeah. See all those scratches? They, like, if you're careful, maybe buy an acrylic pen. You probably didn't hear a single word I just said. All right, so now after having some time to scratch the piss out of it, I'm going to add some water and then also uh, also do another sort of water change. So we're going to fill a little bit up back in and then we're going to take some more out and then we're going to fill it all the way back up uh, just to get some contaminants and any algae that kind of fell in in hopes to remove it because look at how cloudy that water is right now i mean oh yeah so if we walk down this way do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. okay commence the sucking the sucker in. Getting some precious water back in there to help dilute anything we stirred up. We'll take some out, like I said, and then we'll fill her all the way back up, and hopefully everything will be a okay. Some of these ought to work. Take these. Yeah, let's get a little bit of cover for them. Grab it. It's time to dig. Let me grab some from the front here. Oh, this is a bit chilly. Rawr. Give it to me. I need gold. I think I'm also gonna go ahead and grab some of this corkscrew valve. Um, kinda grab all this stuff in the front and let that pink flamingo crypt try to shine through there. We'll see if we can get that to happen. It's buried back there. We uh, had a little spill, popped out of there. Shoop, it happens. Do just a little line in here. I kind of bury the root balls right now, and then after, I think everything's kind of set for today. I will lightly pull on the, the uh, leaves and just barely expose the root ball, kind of like that. Kind of tighten this down a little. Same thing. And that will hopefully take. That seems to work. That one's pretty good in there. I think some people might bury them too deep. But I don't know. I've had issues growing it before. It's very good. So this is the day after. It cleaned up pretty good, I'd say. 
Um, I didn't obviously get all the LG, but yeah, didn't turn out too shabby. Okay, so now it's been exactly seven days since the LG scraping and the plantings. It appears everything's doing pretty good, so that's awesome. As you can see, there's still, I mean, I didn't scrape all the LG, obviously, but it did get quite a bit. We got baby guppies and shrimp buzzing around, having a grand old time. Uh, I did unhook the filter, so right now the the airline's just blowing into open space, but I wanted to keep the sponge in there for any beneficial bacteria that may be within it. Maybe I'll take it out eventually, but in the meantime I did plant some val in front of it to kind of screen it. So yeah, that's what we got going now. Hopefully, uh, I'll just keep up on the maintenance like a good boy, and <laughs> hopefully this thing will straighten all the way back out. I'll quick go ahead and throw up that picture of what this tank used to look like in its heyday um, before I let it go to hell, and hopefully with uh, the new little maintenance we did on it, uh, we can get it back to that former glory. So, thanks for watching.